What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood. I am standing outside the Pantages Theater in the heart of Hollywood. And right now, Riverdance is here. And as you can see, I am in full dance gear. Not only has this cast taken me under their wing to show me around, they have shown me how to dance Irish style. I am now with Craig. He is one of the principal dancers of Riverdance and he is actually going to show me how to dance. Give me the basics, because I know nothing. Okay, so traditionally Irish dancing, you may have heard that, you know, the arms are by the side. There's a few myths behind that. I think, you know, they were trying to hide the fact that they were having fun from the British back years ago. But we're going to be a little more loose today. Okay. Okay. You, we can hold hands if you like. Let's hold hands. Oh. So you, you might see a long line of Irish dancers tonight. That's the, you know, that's the fantastic part of it that you get to see. Okay. All right, so you're going to have your right foot in front of your left. Fantastic. I've never done this before in my life, I swear. <laughs> and we'll have our heel to our toe. Okay. Now we're going to stamp our right foot. Okay, now jumping onto the left, but you're going to make two noises. So jump, two, three. Jump, two, three. Beautiful. And crossing the knees over is a very traditional Irish way of dancing as well. Okay. Instead of we don't want the, yeah. Plie. Yeah, as lovely as that looks, <laughs> we stick to the style. <laughs> All right, so we'll try and speed that up a little bit, all right? So heel to toe, oh. remember? Heel to toe. Get yourself all prepared, because there are thousands of people out there. All right. Now, what, what do you do with this hand? Oh, well, there'll be a long line of dancers. River dance the number, whole line of synchronized Irish dancers, all, you know, arms kind of by our side and our legs just moving like crazy. One, two, three, seven, eight. Drum, two, three. Drum, two, and back. Yeah, I think you good. need to work on the hop though at the end. Yeah, okay. Just well, we'll come back in and have another okay. practice. How do you take care of these legs? Because just the five minutes of doing this exercise, mm. I feel the pressure. Yeah, no, it, it's a, it's a, it's one of them art forms where everything's tightened up. Mm -hmm. So everything's very tight, which means you have to stretch, you have to warm up, and um, also after the show, a lot of us like to jump into ice buckets. Yeah, I heard I about that. It's, yeah. yeah, it's quite, it's quite entertaining, but it's you know, it, it helps your legs, so it helps bring the swelling down and all that. So you Are might you... need to do that soon, actually. I, I all come. The work <laughs> you are in the heart of Hollywood right now, mm. on the stage. Thousands of stars have been here. After you leave, you have Wicked, Spamalot, Rock of Ages. I mean, the Broadway shows just keep coming. What's it like to be on this stage? Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit, you know, you're out, like, secretly, you're out sightseeing all day, you know, because you're, you're so excited to be in Los Angeles, but then you have to kind of, you, you got to ground yourself and be like, all right, let's just, you know, let's just bring it back down. This is the same show um, that, that we're putting on, and we, we just want to make a spectacular piece for anywhere we are in the world, but the Pantages Theatre, it's just an incredible place just to look at and um, mm -hmm. just, to, just to be dancing here is an achievement in itself, so yeah, it's great. Alright, we've done the dancing, uh, let's, uh, I'll show you down to where the costumes are. <laughs> yep, she's sewing up my pants. <laughs> Well, this is our quick change, we call it. Ooh, is so, anyone changing? No, 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 no. <laughs> so we come in here and we have all sorts of costumes and um, we've got some shoes. And as you can see, we have numbers. Um, so our name will correspond with our number. I'm number six, just so you Hello, know. Hello, number six. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, these are our shoes. This is a... This is an example of a an traditional Irish dancing shoe. So this is actually mine. Mm. <laughs> I, have, I have both. <laughs> um, so that's a tap shoe. That's that's fiberglass. It, it allows you to point your toe a lot more. Mm -hmm. the, the, it just allows it to stretch. What is your fastest quick change? Oh well, the girls actually have a very quick quick change. Mm. They um, during the Countess number, uh, which is the first number that you see the female principal, she'll come off stage and she has like 20 seconds to change her shoes, maybe even less. And I mean, anyone who's seeing the show will sometimes be baffled as to how they do it, but it just takes preparation and practice. Yeah. And um, and then I suppose over the years, they're just so used to being able to have the change of sh shoes so quickly oh, yeah. and all that. Okay, so I just had a one-on-one -on -one with the male lead. Now I'm gonna crash the dressing room of the female lead. I hope she's dressed. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Of course you can. Thank yeah. you. Hello. 
This is a big dressing room. I know, it's great, isn't it? Well, I have to say, I'm officially an Irish dancer because the lead and I are wearing the same... We're similar look. ...bottoms. Do you want to put the crown in? Can I try a crown on? Of course you can. Here you go. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? This is my favourite one. <gasps> it's bright, colourful. It's the final dance we use that for. Do you so. trust me? Putting it on? Yeah, of course. Like that? That's it, just slide in. Yeah. Now does it go up? That's it, there. Perfect. Ooh. There. Well, I feel like an Irish dancer now. So Craig gave me a pose hmm. before on stage. Now give me a girl pose. Okay, right before I go out for the first number countess, I kind of prepare myself in the wings. Uh -huh. So I'd be like jumping around, hand on hip. And you go out with your hand on your hip. So you do like a lift and then you go out with that arm and then you bring it down. Sort of like your entrance. I have to say your legs are incredible. How often are you at the gym, I have to ask? Four or five times a week, especially when I'm not on tour. Now when I am on tour it can be difficult, but at least three times a week we still try and get to the gym. And me, I get a good protein diet as well. Snack on almonds. Love almonds. Yeah, so I snack on them throughout the day quite a lot. So your diet is pretty normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just have to make sure we eat quite a lot, actually, so our energy levels are always yeah. quite high. You're probably there. burning everything you're exactly. putting in your body. Yeah, I mean, two hour shows, eight times a week. We have to make sure that we're really well -managed. Rumor has it, there have been some romances within the Riverdance community, is that true? Well, there is. There's been, is it, I'm not sure the exact figure, but there's been 40-something Riverdance marriages. We're all a big family here on tour. Everybody's so amazing. That's, that's another amazing thing about it. We meet best friends for life. Like my best friends are on tour with me and they're my family too, so. Wow. When you go out socially with a group of people, how do you transition from Irish dancing to club dancing? Oh, I'm not the best <laughs> club dancer now. I wouldn't ask me to do that. <laughs> that's not sound at the bar. <laughs> you know. You're the girl standing up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be the best dancer now. I think uh, my friends and colleagues would appreciate that as well. They'd tell That's you great. my dancing skills wouldn't be the best.